Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of my tutorial park. Now, um, one of my favorite rides to build in this game is the go-kart ride. Now, uh, usually when I build them, um, I don't use the uh, default track because, uh, well, it's it's a tad uh, narrow and I uh, like to give my go-karts uh, wider curves. I like to use S-Bands uh, and just in general a lot of elements that this ride doesn't have. And the way I usually do that is by making the track invisible and uh, using some monorails uh, around the track for curves. Now I used to make the track really wide and uh, make it go two laps with two... Um, yeah, basically just having two invisible tracks right next to each other uh, surrounded by barriers. But typically nowadays uh, I just make the track uh, one wide uh, with barriers around it. And by doing that I think uh, I get much nicer looking go-karts. Anyway, um, I think it will be fun to go through a few of my older parks. And uh, yeah, let's see how I make uh, go-karts uh, nowadays. Right, um, I think this is a nice example of how I make uh, go-karts nowadays. So you can see um, uh, the vehicles just drive next to each other. And the track is wider than it usually is, but not too wide. And yeah, I think this looks like a, like a fun racetrack. You can see these monorail barriers around it. And also these uh, S-curves, these uh, wider curves than usual. Um, yeah, I think uh, together this makes for a pretty nice uh, go-kart track. Okay, here you can see an example that I made in Bumbly Beach. Now, um, here I used a different... Uh, uh, ground or different surface for the track here i used the wooden planks for the for the racetrack itself um yeah using this uh this method of building because the track's invisible you can really use any uh, surface for the uh, racing track that you want okay and finally here we have carts and coasters where we have three go-kart tracks uh, here we have a really long one and i've also incorporated some slopes here now, in this scenario, I had uh, recolorable roofs available, so I uh, simply picked some roofs that uh, that I could pick that uh, had the same color as the track. So uh, the black roofs uh, worked quite well here for the slope. Now, this is a really long track, uh, once again with monorail and steeplechase uh, um, barriers next to the track. I filled in some of these corners with pipe pieces. Um, yeah, I think uh, they, they work pretty well since the monorails don't really have these really tight turns. Also put some spectators here next to the track. Also I put some of these uh, lamps by uh, placing some invisible paths here and then putting a lamp on top. Um, I think that's also pretty nice decoration here for the, for the barriers. Now, over here I made a dirt go-kart track. Basically same principle. Uh, except instead of scenery blocks underneath the track, I just used dirt uh, and uh, this red sand and a bit of normal sand. And together, I think that makes for a pretty nice uh, dirt go-kart track. And here in the corners, to fill them up instead of pipe pieces, I used um, some barrels. Later in this episode, uh, I show you uh, a new trick to do these uh, tight uh, curves, uh, which I think you may like. Finally, here's another track, just with lots of hairpin turns, and again, some more slopes. And here I just used these uh, uh, yeah, gray roofs uh, as the slopes for this track. And finally, here's the go-kart track in Mel's World, which uh, I made into a snowy land. And of course, um, yeah, you can have the go-kart uh, drive around on any surface, so ice will also work. So yeah, these uh, go-karts uh, actually uh, drive around on an ice track. Here you can see them uh, travel around. Now once again I will show you a nicer trick to do these uh, really tight uh, curves instead of using barrels. Alright I think right over here will be a nice uh, area for our go-kart track. Now um, I will also just make a, a little slope in it just uh, so uh, yeah, I can also show you a way to do that. Not really sure how nice it will look since uh, I don't have uh, recolorable roofs in this uh, bench. But uh, we'll see uh, how it goes. Let's just check. Um, yeah, doesn't look like I have recolorable roofs. Um, so I think I'll just use the gray ones. 
All right, um, now for the station of the coaster, you don't really um, typically need a long queue for go-karts since they have horrible throughput. Um, I never recommend to make the queue for a go-kart ride very long because uh, guests will, uh, will be complaining that they're uh, waiting for a long time, depending on how long the track is, of course. But uh, typically, I think you do want um, the go-kart to have uh, two or three laps. Unless you don't care about that, of course, then you can just give it one lap. Um, the winner will always do one lap extra, by the way. So you should probably keep that in mind, especially if the go-kart track is very long. Anyway, and to start off, uh, I will uh, start by building an actual go-kart ride. Um, later, we will change the track type to something else. Uh, but in the end, I will change it back to go-kart. But I will explain everything. Anyway, um, yeah, as for the station, you don't need a lot of space. Uh, I typically recommend um, yeah, keeping uh, like three tiles uh, next to the station. That should give you enough space to also build a nice queue and still have a little bit of room to uh, decorate. Now, um, let's see. Well, I think I'll go in the other direction because then right after the station uh, we can have a little stretch of, uh, of straight track. Okay, now for the rest of the track um, I will use a different ride type. I think I'll go for the steeplechase. Oh, that's not a steeplechase. This is steeplechase. But uh, you could also use a coaster. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, what you don't want to do is um, use a um, banked track. Well, I don't see a reason why I would. But, for example, if we changed into a coaster, you... Um, let me... Uh, of course, these... Uh, well, yeah. We see something now. Um, something which was changed in OpenRC2 is... Uh, if the vehicles that you choose for the ride don't have sprites for a certain, for a certain element, uh, the elements will typically not show. Uh, now they show again. Um, but yeah, what you don't want to do is make a helix, because uh, why? There are certain elements that a go kart uh, really cannot do. So uh, I believe um, this they should be able to do this. But if you make the track vertical, they will just teleport through it. And same for helix track, they will also just teleport right through it to the end. So what I would advise is just use uh, stra uh, just use uh, flat track pieces. Anyway, just going to change back to the steeple chase because uh, the coaster or the go karts can do any track element that you see here, um, except for diagonal track pieces. They also cannot do those. So yeah, also keep that in mind. Um, you don't want to use diagonal uh, track pieces. Go-karts cannot do that. Uh, Go-karts can do um, these uh, curves or the curves that are a little bit wider. Anyway, I'm just going to make a, a simple uh, layout here. Also, by the way, um, something which you don't want to do is... Uh, Put the tracks too close together. Uh, for example, if we do something like this, and then here in the middle, uh, you could you could do it, but um, yeah, you will have to use different uh, barriers here. For example, you would have to put a wall in between, and then uh, a monorail barrier would not work because you simply wouldn't have enough space for that. So I recommend always keeping at least a little bit of space between uh, the track as you build it. Alright, I've now built the track and what I'm going to do next is uh, immediately already put the uh, monorail barriers around the track. Now um, I will leave the track like this before I make it invisible uh, because that will help me place the monorail uh, barriers without having to guess uh, where I should place them. Now the placement uh, procedure is pretty straightforward. Um, I will just uh, continue building the track like this and I will just follow the uh, original track. 
example. It may sometimes be a little bit tricky around slopes, but uh, usually uh, you'll be able to find a nice solution for that. Now, for these tight turns, um, there's not really uh, a good solution. Well, there's there are some good solutions, which I will show you uh, later. For now, um, yeah, I'll just uh, turn around here and I'll continue building the track. So if you want to continue building here, um, yeah, I will just copy this piece with the tile inspector and I will paste it here. I will turn it around and then I can just continue building. Something which you can also do here is just change to a right type which does have the tight curves. And then after that you can just change it back into the monorail. And then you can just continue building. Alright, um, this still looks a little bit silly of course, uh, with the grass uh, below here. So what I'm going to do next is uh, actually make the surface for the go-karts to drive on. So for that I will just lower the, the ground under the track and I will replace it with some scenery tiles. Not really sure which one I'm going to use yet, uh, a specific track uh, type that I really like to use usually is the New York. Let me. Oh, I should type it here. New, New York, New York. There we go. New York roof piece. This is a track piece that, uh, or um, a scenery piece that I often use for the surface of the go kart track. But uh, as I showed you uh, earlier in the video, there's many different ones that you can use. Um, you could also go for this surface or a uh, gray surface. Now, since um, we only really have these available for the slopes, I think I'll just go for a, for a gray um, surface for the track, because I think these two uh, match uh, pretty well. Alright, now that we have the racing surface, well, we still have to make it uh, look a bit nicer, but uh, that will be something that uh, I'll do in a bit. Uh, what I want to do now is uh, yeah, make the original track invisible. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, just make a little bit of space for the entrance and the exit of the ride. And let's just uh, already place those. Well, they're invisible now. Uh, but uh, just because I have no entrance set here, but plane, uh, now we can uh, we can actually see them. And I'm going to change the ride back into a uh, go kart. Now, um, for many rides, um, if I want to make them invisible, I usually change them to either a crooked house or a lift, depending on the situation. But um, yeah, when you change a go kart ride into a lift, well, the track does become invisible. But for some reason, when you open the ride, uh, yeah, the and uh, all the guests have boarded the vehicles, um, the ride for some reason will wait a very long time before it actually gets started, and that always annoys me a little bit. So that's why I typically just keep it a go kart ride, and I'll, instead I will just make all the track pieces uh, invisible with the tile inspector. So uh, yeah, that's uh, what I'm going to do now. So I just have hold control, click this track piece, and I will click this. Um, now you can actually also set hotkeys. So that's something which I have done. Uh, I think it's over here under the cogwheel icon in options. And here you can set hotkeys. And for example, um, let's see. At some point here, you will see a tile inspector shortcuts. They are, they are under here. And here for Tail Inspector, I have, I have set toggle invisibility to control plus Q. 
So if I uh, select this track piece and I press Ctrl Q, then the track piece becomes invisible like this. Uh, I use this, uh, yeah, I make a lot of uh, objects invisible throughout my parks. So this is a really useful shortcut key to have. So I will quickly do the same for the other track pieces. Yeah, we'll just make a quick temporary queue and then uh, we can go ahead and test the ride. Now, uh, what you can see when I open the ride is that it only really spawns uh, a very tiny amount of uh, cards. And that's because um, if uh, well, these go when the ride finishes, the, these go cards can line up in any way. So you could, for example, have uh, the situation where all the go cards are on the left side. And yeah, what the game tries to prevent here is that uh, all your go cards would be on one side, and they would extend behind the station, and then the final go kart would be stuck behind the other ones, and the ride would never end. And that's a situation which the game tries to uh, prevent. Now, um, you could, with uh, a cheat, the disable uh, vehicle limits cheat, you could have, uh, yeah, you could just put more go karts. Uh, for example, we could put could put twenty, but the chance of uh, the ride getting stuck this way will just increase. But um, there's another trick that we can use. Now I probably should have done this before I made the track invisible. But um, yeah, I, I will just make some of these track pieces here uh, visible again. Uh, I will take uh, the last uh, uh, piece of the station here, which is this piece. You uh, you need the last piece of the station. And uh, over here we have a straight track piece. So what I'm going to do, I'll just pause the game so uh, these uh, vehicles don't leave. What I'm going to do now is uh, I will... Uh, Delete this track piece here. Uh, you have to, it has to be a straight track piece. So I will delete this uh, straight track piece and I will take this uh, last station piece. We will copy it and we will paste it here where the um, straight track piece was. Okay, um, what this actually does is um, well, when the vehicles arrive over here. Um, over here, they will see that they have reached the station. So, um, yeah, this will also allow us to have more um, trains over here. Because uh, over here, there's already station. So over here, already, the, all the vehicles will believe that the race has ended when they have arrived here. So, um, yeah, now it should be no problem to increase the number of vehicles in the track. Now, I will quickly close the ride and increase the number of vehicles. Now, when you have done this uh, station modifying thing, it's probably a good idea to no longer edit the track because then uh, it could be that it will see this uh, as uh, a new station. So you might get a second station in the track. And that's probably not what you want. So uh, we'll disable vehicle limits and let's up the number of cards to... Uh, yeah, we can probably have 20 here with no issue since we've extended the station to almost uh, twice its original length. Maybe that's a little bit much. Let's go for 18. I lowered it a little bit more. I think 16 is a good number of cards for this track. Okay, and then uh, I will just quickly make these uh, track pieces invisible again, like so. Okay, um, well, the track is already a little bit further uh, into completion. Now, um, something which uh, I uh, liked, uh, or uh, with something which I often did for these kind of situations is uh, just put some barriers in here like this. Well, uh, now they're exactly the same color as the track, so that might not be a, a good idea. Because then you will not see them from some angles. Um, let's do like this. Now, this is something which you can often do in these uh, curves. Because the track will be a little bit less wide here, but uh, this is uh, um, yeah, a solution that could work to uh, finish up the barriers here. 
No, I, I uh, recently found an even nicer trick that you can use here. Now, first off, I'm just going to give these barriers a different color. I think we'll just go with uh, maybe a color of green would fit well in this uh, in this park. Okay. Um, yeah, I will now show you a different method of uh, completing these uh, these uh, curves. Okay, uh, as you may be able to see here, I built a car ride here. I put the ride, uh, well, I just built a station with an entrance and an exit. Let's also um, put the inspection time to never, because uh, we don't want any mechanics going here. We will never open this ride, so it doesn't have to be uh, inspected. Now, I gave the ride four River Rapids cars. Uh, that's because I have four little gaps to fill up. Uh, put the ride to boat higher mode so the um, boats will be able to spawn without having a complete track and let's put the ride in test mode and immediately close it again and then we'll use the uh, ride vehicle editor plugin and then uh, I'll take this boat and I'll just grab it with the tweezers that allows me to put it somewhere I'll put, just put it close to uh, to here. I'll do the same for these other boats. Okay, now that they're all close to these uh, curves, let's um, move them into place. So here you have the X position and Y position, and you can use those to uh, nudge uh, one of these boats into a nice position. And I think if we put it like this here, I think this is a really nice way to fill up this uh, this curve. Now when you do this, uh, be uh, mindful of which vehicle you choose to put here. Because uh, some uh, vehicles actually have collision. For example, uh, uh, Dodge and vehicles, bumper cars. Um, if you put those on the track, the go-karts will actually collide with them. Right, I think this looks pretty nice. I also changed the track color a little bit, so um, yeah, it looks actually it actually looks more like the color of the bottom of this uh, this dinghy slide uh, raft. I think this is a pretty nice uh, solution, uh, yeah, to fill up these uh, tight curves over here. Now, um, something which you will probably notice is uh, these uh, yeah path pieces here on the outside, and. That's definitely something that uh, I want to fill up. And I typically just do that with uh, small scenery or with um, some uh, trees around the track. Now, first thing I'm going to do is uh, double up the barriers a little bit. Um, probably not going to do it everywhere, uh, just in some parts of the track where I think it looks nice. Um, I think here and around the outside we can just make these walls a little bit higher and maybe in some parts uh, we can put some steeple chase track on top and that will make it look like there's a nice little fence uh, on top of the track. Now to build your track like this uh, on this specific height, um, oh, you can see it's not possible now, it says invalid height. So then we have to enable the cheat, allow building track in valid heights. And that allows us to uh, build here. When you use the invalid height cheat, uh, remember to uh, turn it off when you're done. Because it can be uh, really annoying if you uh, find out later that you've built a ride at the wrong height after uh, using this cheat. When you've built a ride at an invalid height, it's really difficult uh, later to connect a path to it. So you probably uh, should not uh, should not do that by accident. Now, something which this uh, doubling uh, up of track also helps with is uh, yeah covering the gap the between the track and uh, yeah whatever is here. For example, over here we now see all these uh, gray patches here of the. Uh, the track uh, surface sticking out and when you double up the track that's less of an issue for example on this straight track over here you can no longer see it so if we uh, build something over here 
then for these tiles uh, it's already no longer something we have to cover up. Um, when you double up track you do get uh, some extra supports over here, so we probably want to hide these. An easy way to hide them is to uh, select these track pieces with the tile inspector and we move them under surface. Now be careful uh, if you do this over water, because then uh, you'll probably need to find a different trick to hide the supports. So a trick which you could use uh, then is just to take a, a garden, for example. Gardens block all the supports that you place under them. So if you place a garden over here, um, this support and this tile um, is no longer visible. And then we take the garden and we move it underground like this. And the support stays hidden. By the way, I've also set a, a hotkey for uh, moving uh, elements down in the order here. So um, yeah, I can just select the track piece, hold the hotkey, and that's a, a really fast way of uh, moving uh, track pieces down in the tile inspector order. Here I think the track is looking more and more complete. It's always a good idea to uh, rotate the few a few times um, just to see if you didn't miss any uh, stray uh, supports still hanging around. Now, um, something which we still need to do is actually um, hide these gray areas next to the track. So uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of landscaping and also put some foliage next to the track. Uh, to try and uh, hide these a little bit more. Alright, um, I covered up most of the uh, gray area around the track. Uh, it looks like the go-kart is actually uh, broken down. Let me just uh, quickly disable uh, breakdowns and fix the rides. But yeah, um, I wouldn't try to go for a perfect cover-up here. Uh, I just tried to make it uh, uh, good enough. Now, um, something which you probably should be a little bit wary of is... Um, place objects on the same tile as the uh, barriers because uh, yeah that will usually make them quite glitchy so um, for most of the cases here I just put the track on the tile next to the barrier and sometimes I even stacked up some of these bushes um, to uh, yeah to be able to uh, make the cover up look nicer now it also depends on your track um, how much you uh, need to cover up for example if you have a dirt track it's perfectly acceptable to also have uh, dirt on the outside so then uh, you have less uh, to cover up same with an ice track um, but yeah when you use a track like this where the um, flooring is uh, is concrete then on the outside uh, having concrete also looks uh, might look a little bit silly but yeah for most of uh, the area I just put trees in the front and that's usually enough now, you can see some areas where it's still not really finished, but uh, uh, this video is, is already taking uh, long enough. Okay, um, I've also started work here on a tunnel, so now uh, I will uh, also try to make that uh, look a little bit nicer. Uh, there's several different tricks we can use uh, to make uh, a tunnel. There's many different tricks even. Um, yeah, for a start, um, I will just uh, lower the land here. And um, I think I'll just use uh, these uh, dark um, board tiles here. Let's just use the invisible railing type. And I will just place a path piece here. We'll connect it on these sides. I've now connected it only on these sides. So uh, 
yeah, on these uh, edges, the floor is now uh, connected. But on these ones, it, it's not. And that will give a nice uh, shadow effect. And that's something which I like to use to make uh, tunnels. So I'll extend these uh, over here. And I'll take this path piece and I'll paste it here. Uh, it looks like it needs to be a little bit lower. There we go. And I'll also paste it here. Let's also lower the length here a bit. And then we'll just make a roof here. Alright, just experimenting a little bit. I'm just trying to make it look a little bit more dark here on the inside. That's why I've uh, also repainted this monorail here. But yeah, um, as you can see, I copied and pasted some of this dark path here. I uh, painted these walls uh, here dark and just gave it a little bit of a roof. And that's just a simple and silly way of uh, making a nice tunnel entrance, I think, for this, uh, um, yeah, for this kind of uh, wide track. So I'll just uh, quickly uh, uh, copy this to the other side as well. By the way, if you want the scenery piece or other object to um, yeah, always be completely uh, on the back, so drawn last. For example, over here um, we have this um, um, piece of monorail track which is now uh, uh, not visible and we want it to be drawn over the path so if we want everything else to be drawn over the path then it, easiest way is to uh, move the path to the top of the list here and as you can see now the monorail track is visible and the path uh, yeah everything is now drawn over it so that usually uh, works um, if you want something to be drawn uh, last Alright, uh, we've already done quite a bit of detailing uh, on this uh, go-kart track, but something which it uh, still needs is an actual station. Now, um, yeah, you can build the station, uh, really, there's infinite ways you can do it. Um, how I like to do it is, uh, well, in a, in, a, in a specific way, uh, what I typically do is, um, I will uh, make some uh, some poles, uh, which I make by uh, just putting uh, some of these posts on uh, all four corners uh, of a tile. That way, uh, I make them look a little bit more um, thick, and I'll do that on uh, on uh, several parts of the, of the station. So first off, uh, I do it in the corners uh, where I want the station to be. I'll quickly make the entrance and exit invisible, just so uh, I can see better where I'm building. Again, this is just how I like to uh, to build my stations. Um, it's up to you how uh, how you do it for your go kart track. Anyway, um, let's first decide on a color. I think I'll just go with brown. All right, I'll just uh, put some holes in the corners where I want them to be. Again, this is just the way uh, I like to build my stations and a way that I think works well for these uh, for stations of this width. But the station also has to be a uh, tree wide now. All right, um, I think this uh, will uh, work pretty well for the station. <laughs> I actually like how it is, how it looks like this uh, pole sits here in the middle of this uh, river rapids boat. All right, and I'll also build another layer on top here. All right, so now we have the basis or the base for our station. And now we just have to put a roof on top. 
again uh, you have tons of uh, options for this uh, yeah you'll just have to find something that uh, that works for you um, I'll just go with uh, some of this uh, six flags um, ornamental structure but really I'm just uh, winging it right now Right now, um, I don't think this station looks particularly appealing. Um, what you, what I could still do is uh, put, uh, just put for for example a mine roof uh, on top. I think that would uh, already help. Um, but yeah, for now, uh, I think I'll just uh, just uh, leave it like this. But yeah, like I already said, there's just uh, plenty of options for you to make a, a roof over your uh, go kart station. Just, uh, yeah, just uh, just go wild. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do a little bit more decoration just to make this area look a little bit more appealing. And I'll also add a few entertainers uh, around this area. By the way, um, here's a fun way to uh, spice up your go-kart. Um, might be fun to uh, to put a little display vehicle here. So uh, for that, I'll just uh, build a car right here. I'll just build the station and we'll have to build an entrance and an exit. Sadly, this fence disappears, but uh, I'll just ignore that. Um, I'll just spawn one vehicle and it will be a go-kart. Uh, I want one car per train. I'll put it in a mode that allows uh, putting the vehicle on the track without uh, having a continuous circuit, like powered launch mode. I'll um, set the ride to inspections never. And then I'll quickly test and close the ride. And I'll make the track invisible by selecting the crooked house. And now we have a little display vehicle here. And then if we go to um, the right vehicle editor, we can, with the tweezer, we can select this go-kart and we can now tweak its position as well. Uh, so another fun trick you can do, you can actually have it spin in place. Uh, for that, you have to put in bumper car mode and then just press the right. And now it will just spin in place like this. This actually uh, might be fun to just leave it like this. <laughs> so I'll just uh, keep it spinning in place here. Now, uh, as long as you set the right up to Crooked House, it will never break down. So then uh, it's uh, also a good idea to just set inspection to never. And your inspect your uh, mechanics won't be kept busy uh, uh, attempting to actually reach this ride. Right, I've added two entertainers to the park. We can see one here at the entrance of the ride. It's the ride operator. And we can see one here um, in this uh, corner of the ride. I should probably hide these uh, path pieces. All right. Now, uh, let's quickly name them after two more of my patrons. All right, Inox and Zach Coombs, uh, thanks a lot for supporting me on Patreon really means a lot to me and I hope you enjoy your little spot in the tutorial park. Now, if you also want to support me on Patreon that's really appreciated and you can find the link to my Patreon channel in the video description. All right um, yeah I think I passed all my knowledge that I have uh, about go-karts in this video so uh, yeah 
by uh, watching after watching this uh, this video i think you should be able to uh, create one of these uh, uh, by yourself in this same style now as i already said this is not the only way that you can build a go-kart this is just the way that uh, i like to build them uh, nowadays all right well that's going to be all the building i'm going to do um, in this video uh, i hope you enjoyed watching me build uh, if you liked this video if, or if you learned something uh, please consider giving this video a like it would really help out my channel and i think it will be fun to end this video by following one of these go cards along the track all right that's going to be it for this video hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in the next one see you later